Thailand is a predominantly Buddhist country. Buddhism has been interwoven with the culture and people of the country since the beginning of its history. European missionaries brought Christianity to Thailand some 400 years ago. Today, the Catholic Church has more than 300,000 members. In the past half a century, the church here has gradually changed from being a mission church to a local Thai church. The person who knows best the Catholic Church in modern times is Cardinal Michael Mi Chai Kit Bun Chu. Ordained a priest 50 years ago, he was made Archbishop of Bangkok in 1972. The late Pope John Paul II made him a Cardinal in 1983. As the Archbishop of Archdiocese of Bangkok, yes, I have to admit that he is a big burden and big responsibility. During the 50 years of my priesthood, serving the Catholic Church and serving God to pro proclaim the good news of the gospel, uh, I understand that it is the first work, the first responsibility I have to do my best. We have to change, we try to change the mentality and understanding of the, peop of the people in Thailand to have more, better understanding about the Christianity and especially about the Catholic Church in Thailand. Fifty years ago, foreign clergy dominated the leadership of the Thai Church and the character of the Church was largely Western. In response to the Second Vatican Council, however, the Thai Church has become more localized Today, all the bishops of the ten dioceses are Thai. Priests and religious are also mostly Thai. The number of missioners is becoming fewer and fewer. At the same time, the Thai church has been reaching out to marginalized and disadvantaged people. The church has been strong on social welfare. It has provided medical services and livelihood programs to the country's poorest people. We have to translate uh, the important document or uh, the teaching of the church, uh, mostly the Holy Bible. We translate it to Thai. And then it seemed to me several things uh, uh, in the church are changing. And, and now we are going to, ch to have more change. We get involved on many uh, many aspects for the social welfare. Uh, uh, we have some hospital, we have a center of, uh, of medical care, and then we s set up many, many centers uh, for, 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 for the people in the remote, in particular in the tribal people in the north. Apart from social welfare and works of charity, the Catholic Church has been involved in education from the very beginning. Today, there are more than 400 Catholic schools in the country, from kindergartens to universities, with a total of more than 300,000 students. These schools are spread all over the country, in the capital, as well as upcountry and in remote tribal areas. Thai people have a lot of confidence in the Catholic schools because they provide high-quality education. Most of the students are Buddhists. The last thing by the Bishop Conference of Thailand, we had several meetings um, discussing on this special matter concerning about how to introduce Jesus Christ into into our school, so that now we come to the conclusion that every Catholic school try to be the center of the good news. Thailand enjoys religious freedom. For the Cardinal, Thai people need to understand their identity differently, that they can freely choose their religion and still be Thai. The Cardinal has been invited on many occasions by government and military officials to talk about solutions to national problems. The Church has always raised a neutral voice 
especially in recent political conflicts. It seemed to me the world become smaller, smaller, and then the Thai people have a better understanding about the Christianity, about the Catholic Church. Mistake or misunderstanding can happen everywhere in the world. The same, this thing, this thing, also happen in Thailand. There are some misunderstanding, and then to to correct the misunderstanding of each other, you should come together to have the dialogue. Love each other is very important, but in practice, not easy. Not easy, this one. But we have to try to follow this principle to love each other. Being made a cardinal was a big honor for the Thai church. However, with all his wisdom and experience, there is one thing Cardinal Michai still does not know, even after asking Pope John Paul himself. Many people ask me why I became cardinal. Now, I would like to ask you directly what reason why Holy Father made me a cardinal. He said, he keeps smiling. And he said, uh, is, uh, I, not necessary to, to, to give you the reason. Mm. Yeah. Yes, sir. So that I, 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 I would like to say that I myself, I don't know the reason why. On May 14th, Pope Benedict XVI accepted Cardinal Michai's resignation as Archbishop of Bangkok a position regarded as head of the Catholic Church in Thailand. However, the Cardinal will remain a major figure in the Thai Church. He says there is a strong hope that God will remain with the Church in Thailand. He also says that in the past few decades, Thai people have had a better understanding about Christianity and the Catholic Church.